Hello and welcome to Harry Potter UK, bringing Hogwarts to you. Now I am Victoria McLean and I have been asked since November last year, would I do a tutorial on how to make the pumpkin juice bottles because it, it did a load for my Yule dance last year, which was fantastic. So I'm gonna do my first ever tutorial. I hope you're excited because I'm kind of excited to share this with you. They're so easy to make. I will go through it with you now, step by step, enjoy. So to make this pumpkin bottle, you need a small amount of water with a paintbrush, cocktail stick, a normal kitchen knife, a Play-Doh tool, Fimo clay of a light colour, a bottle, glass with a metal lid, and for your convenience, a hairdryer. To get started on your glass bottle, this is a small wine bottle. You can, however, use um, glass water bottles or you can buy normal glasses, uh, normal bottles this size online. I would recommend you only using a glass bottle with a metal lid. If you have a section here of metal or um, packaging, it needs to be removed before you get started. So to start with, you will need a small amount of clay. This size will suffice. This is Fimo clay. This needs to be made into a ball, but because it is so hard when cold, you need to cut it into four pieces and warm it gently with a hairdryer. This will make it more pliable and malleable for your needs. And now to heat it up, I'm gonna use my hairdryer. Now I have used the hairdryer, the FIMO is far more, more manageable. It is easily manipulated in between my fingers. So now you need to roll it into a small ball. This doesn't have to be perfect. Now take the knife and make a hole. Big enough for your lid to fit in. If it's not, open it up a little bit with your fingers like so. Make sure that that is tightly on there, on just the lid. Try not to let it touch the glass, otherwise you won't be able to get the pumpkin off to fill your glass once this is finished. Now once you're happy that it's on tight enough, take your Play-Doh tool and go from the top all the way down to create your pumpkin shape. Go all the way around, not too close, you need to make a nice gap in between each one so you have that nice fleshy lump there. Go all the way around with your tool, all the way around, one more I think we'll do this one. And there we have it. And then take just the top and go all the way around again, like this, and you can see that it's creating that proper full effect of your pumpkin. I really like it, that's really nice. It's a lovely shape, that. So now you have your pumpkin shape. That's really, really lovely. You need to create the stalk, but before we create the stalk, if there are any marks that you're not happy with, you want to try and remove a bit of water on a paintbrush and just go over your pumpkin with a bit of water. This is a really, really good way of smoothing out the surface, especially with fingerprints and so on. Now you need to create your stalk. You need a small piece of clay and a quarter of a cocktail stick. Now I've already been cutting this cocktail stick up, so I'm just gonna show you roughly how much I mean. So something this big. Now this is to create your stalk. Once you're happy and your piece of FIMO is nice and pl pliable, take the cocktail piece of cocktail stick and wrap around the 
fine bouquet around your cocktail stick. Now you should have a piece of cocktail stick showing at the bottom. Don't worry about this being too long, that can be cut off later. So this piece of your cocktail stick now goes into the top of your pumpkin. Push down as far as you can and that should secure your stalk. Now obviously that doesn't look much like a good stalk. So take your tool and gently go around each indent but gently pushing the part of that stalk further into your pumpkin. Like so. I like my pumpkin, my stalks being flat, so I'm going to tap it down until I am happy with the way that looks. And there you have it, your pumpkin stalk and pumpkin. Oh, before you do put it in the oven though, check that the bottom of your pumpkin is actually away from the glass. Otherwise, as I said, you will not be able to get that lid off again. So go all the way around making sure that that glass is free of the FIMO so you can get the bottle open again. If, you're, if you want to adjust a few things, do it now before it goes in the oven because you will not be able to do it once it is done. Once it's cooked, that is it. It is hard like plastic or almost like plastic. I love FIMO. So there we have it, your pumpkin bottle lid. This now goes in the oven, it goes in for 30 minutes at 110 Celsius or 230 Fahrenheit. So once your pumpkin is ready, leave it cool. When the timer goes off, leave it cool, let it settle. Once it is cold, you can then get to painting it. Earlier I did this one, which is a pumpkin colour, obviously, for your pumpkin. This one I'm going to do in the colour of the Your Ball. I'm going to be using acrylic metallic pearl paint to do the base. leave it to dry. So once your paint is dry, I would like to start building up the layers of colour. Of my metallic white paint, I absolutely love this. Right, so I'm going to build up the colour of it with this. And now I'm just going to dab the paint with this. So I'm now going to play about with it a little bit. I'm now using a metallic royal blue but I'm not going to use much of this this is more for the in the cracks to make it really kind of stand out in a way so we have a pumpkin lid and a your ball lid. Both fantastic items. This one's my favourite. I love blue. That's me being a Ravenclaw. So I hope you liked my tutorial on YouTube, my first ever tutorial. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Please do make sure you hit the subscribe button and check out my other videos. But I think for now, myself and some Lucas Aid. <laughs> <laughs> in my pumpkin bowl are going to be good. <laughs>